Hello everybody. Good morning. Today we will study the basic equations in open channel flow. There are three types of equations. Continuity equation, energy equation and momentum equation. First let us see continuity equation in detail along with the suitable sketch. The continuity equation is a statement of the law of conservation of matter. In open channel flows, since we deal with the incompressible fluids, this equation is relatively simple and much more for the cases of steady flow. Steady flow. In a steady flow, the volumetric rate of flow, that is discharge in meter cube per second, past various section must be the same. Thus, in a varied flow, if Q is equal to discharge, V is equal to mean velocity and A is equal to area of cross-section with suffixes representing the sections to which they refer, we can write the equation, basic equation, Q is equal to VA is equal to V1A1 is equal to V2A2 is equal to V3A3, etc. One suffix, suffix 2, suffix 3, etc. indicates different sections. Now, let us consider an open channel in which two sections are taken. Section 11, section 22. Section 11, section 22 are taken. Let the distance between section 11 and 22, let it be very small delta x. Let Q be the discharge of the flow. Let A capital A is the area of section between 1, 1 and 2, 2. Then equating then inflow of liquid from section 1, 1 of the element at time d delta d is given by Fy is equal to Q minus del Q by del X multiplied by delta X by 2 whole multiplied by delta T. Outflow in the similar way FO is equal to Q plus del Q by del X plus delta X by 2 whole multiplied by delta T. Net flow is equal to minus del Q by del X multiplied by delta X multiplied by T. Volume of element is area, area between section 1, 1 and 2, 2 multiplied by delta x that is the length between 1 and 2 sections. In case of volume of element in time delta t is equal to del of a plus a multiplied by delta x divided by delta t multiplied by delta t. Now from equating the equation 3 and 4, we get minus del q by del x multiplied by delta x multiplied by delta t is equal to del of a plus delta x divided by del t multiplied by delta t. This can be modified into del of a v divided by del x plus capital B del y by del t is equal to 0, where q is equal to a v that is equal to area into velocity del a is equal to breadth into depth that is equal to capital B into del y for rectangular section A is equal to capital B into small y that is depth. Therefore, the previous equation can be rewritten as capital V del y by del x plus y del v by del x plus del y by del t is equal to 0. For steady flow del q by del x is equal to 0 because q is constant for steady flow. Now energy equation. You consider the bed of the channel, bed of channel 
at an angle theta. Let this channel be, let this channel be at a height of z1 at section 1 from datum, z2 from at section 2. Therefore, the height between the water surface and the bed channel is d1 cos theta here, d2 cos theta here from the energy head and water surface alpha 1 v1 squared by 2g at section 1 and at section 2 alpha 2 v2 squared by 2g and this is the loss in head hf. This is loss in head denoted by hf. For steady frictionless open channel flow, Bernoulli's equation is used as the energy equation for ideal fluid. Therefore, Z plus P by gamma plus V squared by 2G must be a constant. Now, the same Bernoulli's equation is used to get Z1 plus D1 cos theta plus alpha 1 V1 squared by 2G at section 1 must be equal to Z2 plus D2 cos theta plus alpha 2 V2 squared by 2G at section 2. Now, alpha 1 and alpha 2 are energy correction factors, d1 and d2 are the depth of flow section, y1 and y2 are the depth of flow. Hf is head loss due to friction and eddy current. For small slope in channel, cos theta may be taken equal to 1 because theta is considered as negligible 0. Therefore, d1 must be equal to y1 and d2 is equal to y2. Therefore, the last equation or previous equation becomes Z1 plus Y plus alpha 1 V1 squared by 2G is equal to Z2 plus Y2 plus alpha 2 V2 squared by 2G plus HF. If alpha 1 and alpha 2 are also considered to be unity, Z1 plus Y plus V1 squared by 2G must be equal to Z2 plus Y2 plus V2 squared by 2G plus HF. This is the energy equation in case of a flow channel. Momentum equation. Momentum equation states that the sum of all the external forces acting on a given direction on a fluid mass is equal to the rate of change of momentum of fluid mass in that direction. You look at the figure. Let us consider two sections 1, 1 and 2, 2 in an open channel. Let F1 and F2 are the forces acting, hydrostatic pressure on the section 1, 1 and 2, 2. Let W be acting downward, weight of the fluid mass and parallel to the bed slope is W sin theta and the rest of the thing we will see one by one. Forces acting on a liquid mass between section 1, 1 and 2, 2 in the direction of motion are F1 and F2 hydrostatic forces acting on section 1, 1 and 2, 2. FF frictional force at boundary channel. Boundary channel. FA force due to air resistance here in the opposite direction. W sin theta body force that is component of weight of liquid in the direction of motion. Theta is the slope of the channel bed as shown here. Sum of sum of all the forces in the direction of flow must be equal to rate of change of momentum in the direction of flow. That is the statement of momentum equation. Sum of all the external forces in the direction of flow must be equal to rate of change of momentum in the direction of flow. Therefore, F1 minus F2 because they are acting opposite to each other as shown in figure plus W sin theta in the direction of flow minus FF opposite to the direction of flow and air, uh, force due to air resistance is also acting in the opposite direction to the flow that is why minus sign must be equal to gamma Q V2 minus V1 divided by theta.
as the area of cross section uh, decreases velocity increases section 2 2 wherein area of cross section is small that's why velocity is more that's why v2 minus v1 fa is negligible and ff is ignored if distance between the section 1 1 and 2 2 is very small if the channel is assumed to be horizontal theta must be equal to 0 therefore the above equation becomes f1 minus f2 f1 minus f2 must be equal to gamma q v2 minus v1 by theta because ff is uh, neglected f alpha is ignored since theta is equal to 0 this term vanishes left with f1 minus f2 gamma q v2 minus v1 by g right momentum theory is applicable in case of rapidly varied flow like hydraulic jump where large internal energy losses take place over a short distance of channel we'll stop here we'll continue in the next class the rest of the syllabus okay have a nice day